When you think of cutting edge technology, speedy change or innovation, you might think of technologists dreaming up the next big app in some Northern California garage. Or maybe you think of nerd chic coders and hoodies playing ping pong in a swanky office. What you probably don't think of first is the federal government. Jerry Ma didn't either. He started his tech career in the obvious place, Silicon Valley, but he also saw the potential to use technology for the public good. So Jerry, now 27, signed up to become the chief technology officer at the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. And he got to work. He and his team introduced new AI tools to enhance the patent review process, a process that has been around for over 200 years and requires, well, attention to detail is putting it mildly. Back then, you might have imagined uh, you know, one solitary person reading through a personal library or a small collection of works. Fast forward a couple of centuries, and the volume of what we call prior art documents that might be relevant to a given application is without question in the hundreds of millions, if not billions, of documents. AI expands the web of connections that we rely on to search for information and makes that web so much richer and so much more usable. And basically what we're doing for our examiners, the public, and anyone else who uses our AI tools is helping them connect the dots to help them sort through the sea of information that they're looking for. Patent searching is about finding needles in haystacks, and we want to make those needles glaringly obvious. By embracing technology in our nation's patent examination process, Jerry helps ensure America remains a creative force in the world. But Jerry and his team at the Patent Office didn't stop there. They're leading the way in bringing technology to government, showing others how government can serve the public better. Building AI for the public benefit, it's ultimately not about understanding this or that AI model architecture. It's about connecting the dots between models, systems, computer code, and the business and governmental challenges that will stand to benefit from that technology. At the end of the day, government is about innovation. Innovation in the technology and tools that we use, certainly, but also innovation in how we do our work, how we think about the basic mission of government. AI and key technologies are really going to influence whether we stay grounded to our democratic principles, grounded to the values that make us who we are as Americans. And if we leverage AI responsibly, we have a chance to herald a sea change in our ability to make the American dream work for everyone.